Hi, my name is Christian Baldwin, and I'm the turf grass scientist at Jacqueline Seed by Simplot. And thank you for listening to our podcast series called Jacqueline Net News. In this edition, tips for controlling poa annua and overseeded Bermuda grass in the southwest will be discussed. While we initiated seven trials on Phoenix area golf courses, the superintendents who participated in these trials did a fantastic job in maintaining the plot area. There were two factors. Glyphosate was applied in February, March, or April, and then a combination of all these timings. The second factor was to determine rates that controlled POA, but did not injure the glyrise. Well, this is Pebble Creek Golf Club in the Phoenix area, and they seeded their entire golf course with the glyrise. As you can see in the picture, the color and quality of these grasses are outstanding. The superintendent was very happy with the performance of these grasses. The first trial was at Coach East on the driving range tee box. This was a great test site because there was a lot of POA encroachment. Well, this video was recorded March 15th, one month after the initial application. These are all 16 ounce per acre plots, and as you can see, the 16 ounce rate has turned the POA completely brown, while the glyrise are still green, healthy, and actively growing. The next two plots were untreated, and as you can see, these plots are composed primarily of POA annua, which is very unsightly. And then the final plot was applied with a 16 ounce rate, and you can see the brown POA annua. Well, this video was recorded April 15th, two months after the initial application, so the February and March treatments have been applied. Here are two untreated plots that are at least 80% POA. The next plot is the best treatment with a repeat application at 16 ounces per acre. The plot's very clean. Even at one application at 16 ounces, you're still getting excellent POA control. And again, here's a very clean plot with two applications. The final shot is an untreated plot that is nearly completely covered with POA annua. Well, this is at Troon Country Club, and the location was on the driving range tee box. Uh, Superintendent Mark Clark, his mowing height was around 0.4 inches, and he did not apply any herbicides in order to see how well the cultivars performed. Well, this video was recorded April 15th. You can see very good power control at the one application, 16 ounces. One 8 ounce application provides marginal control, while two 16 ounce per acre applications provides nearly 100% control. Here's two applications at the 8 ounce rate, providing nearly 70% control, while the untreated plots in the upper portion of the screen are covered in POA annua. Well, due to the success of the trials, on May 1st, Jacqueline Seed and Simplot Partners hosted a field tour of the trial sites. Attendance was very good with about 25 local superintendents. The first stop was at Cochise and hosted by Superintendent Brad Bird. The response was very positive. The attendees were not only impressed with the excellent POA control, but with the quality of the glyrise. The next stop was at DC Ranch, which was hosted by Superintendent Bill Costas. Bill provided his positive feedback to the attendees and went on to further discuss how he intends on utilizing these cultivars next year on his golf course. Currently, Bill plans on seeding two holes of his golf course and the entire driving range for the upcoming overseeding season. Well, for recommendations, regardless of timing, the 4-ounce rate provided excellent seed head suppression. For the 8-ounce rate, one application resulted in marginal control, while two apps, four weeks apart, had greater than 70% control. For the 16-ounce rate, control was excellent regardless of the number of applications. One or two applications resulted in greater than 80% control. When the first application was March, poor POA control was observed. Therefore, the key recommendation in the Southwest is to make the first application prior to when POA starts to flower. Also, the first application should not be made prior to February due to cool temperatures. Well, a final thanks to all the superintendents who participated in these trials. Well, this is a summary of what I've just said. Again, there are two key recommendations. One, do not make an application prior to February, and two, the first application should be made right as the POA starts to flower. Well, thank you for listening to this edition of Jacqueline Net News. Stay tuned for future presentations that will discuss management tips for the glyrise when planted in northern climates where ryegrass is a permanent stand.